Hey folks, Archman here again with uh, another knife review type thing. Um, this one is, uh, of course, on the Spyderco UK pen knife. This guy I've had for about six weeks. When I first got it, I was just so psyched about it. I just, I, I wanted to do a review right away, and um, but I couldn't because I just knew I'd be super fired up, you know. And, this time is so great, you know. Um, but so I held off, and I've been carrying this guy for about six weeks now. Um, what I'll start off with is the reason I bought this knife. It was to uh, replace the only like gentleman knife, gentleman's folder that I had at the time, and that was a Strider PT concealed carry. Um, well, almost dropped it. Um, knife, and um, that guy was was really a gentlemanly folder. I would say. I mean, the regular PT maybe not, but that CC. I wish I had done a video on it before. I just never even occurred to me. Uh, to do this before, um, so uh, I didn't ever do it. But anyway, I bought this to kind of be my gentlemanly folder type knife. Um, and that, it's kind of a gray area. A lot of people would see this one-handed knife and immediately be afraid you're going to cut their throat with it or something. But um, that's not really um, a factor for me. I couldn't care less. I just, I try to you know, compose myself in a manner that I seem non-threatening, you know, because I am non-threatening, you know. But anyhow, um, so that's where this knife fits in for me. It's probably my most gentlemanly type knife. Um, now, the Spyderco UK pen knife is, its design is basically um, based on the Cali 3, and this knife is for um, legal carry in the United Kingdom where locking knives are illegal, all right? So um, basically they've decided that a lock is somehow um, perceived as malicious, I guess. Um, I can't really understand um, that. When I look at, when I think of a lock on a knife, I feel like it's a safety mechanism um, on it and that's for the user. And I can't imagine how that's a problem, but um, I guess it is. This knife right here, it does like have, you know, it's some somewhat won't close on you because of the spring in the back, but also the way they put the, the uh, choil here, your finger is the safety mechanism on it, right? Okay, so if like whatever happens, like you're cutting some something rigid and it does try to close on, your fi on you, uh, I'm pushing real hard actually right there. It just kind of pinches your finger in there, um, and if you have a, if you're if you're squeezing on the knife pretty hard, I don't think it could close on you um, or cut you or anything like that. So your finger is a safety mechanism on this knife. All right. Um, other than that, you can see. I don't know if you can see or not, but maybe uh, see how that little spring is lifting up. Boy, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the crappy YouTube video, but. Um, Anyway, the spring works just like a spring, the back spring on like your Swiss Army knife. Uh, they call it a slip joint, and it's like your grandpa's case knife or whatever. Basically, it does not have a lock or any, you know, physical safety mechanism that is on the knife. Um, so you have to, kind of, you, you're advised to use it in the in the manner like this. Hold it like that. Which brings me to one of the big things I liked about it, and also. I think Strider has kind of taken from um, Spyderco, which is cool, you know, uh, it's the way to go. And that is the way this Troil, they kind of extend the handle out onto the blade. And that's cool because it makes the handle nice and small, and then you're small in your pocket, but um, it makes a very comfortable larger knife when you grip it in your hand, okay? And this knife's pretty small. And I can get a full four finger grip, no problem. I mean, I can even kind of spread my hand out if I want. No problem at all getting a very comfortable and functional um, grip on this knife. So I really like that. Uh, like I said, I'm a big guy. I'm uh, six foot five and my hands are not small. So this knife is, is fairly comfortable. Um, some other 
um, really great things I like about this knife. Um, and when I'm buying a knife for myself, or actually anybody else, um, I'm pretty anal about it. Um, anal retentive. Um, so uh, I pretty much, in 10 years, uh, since I was, you know, a scrapper, um, I'm 31 now, and I can't think of the last time I bought a knife that was not made in the United States. Um, just because I kind of realized, man, it's like you don't have to, you know? I mean, there's uh, such a selection out there that you don't have to break the bank to uh, get a non-United States made knife. But anyway, and you just get the in-house quality, okay? So, uh, and then the fit, finish, and materials are, you know, huge for me. And I research all that, and I, and I learn about all that prior to buying something like this. So, um, the knife is very light, 2.9 ounces, I believe, is what it is. Uh, maybe even less. Um, so very light, no liners in there, but it's very rigid. Okay, G10, this, this handle material is quite rigid. Um, it's held together kind of with this back spacer, which is also the spring, like I said, and that's pretty cool. Those screws that you see um, on the handle there are what you call Chicago screws, and they're just like kind of the same type of screws that like a Sabenza uses, in that um, it's just it's basically two screws on the on the sides. One is female and one is male, and they have heads on them just like a regular screw. But they compress whatever it is that is sandwiched between them, um, and that's cool. I mean, it's like you don't have to. They don't have like. Uh, then I have to tap the actual handle material. Like if you look at this um, Benchmade 940, see that little screw there? That's because they've actually screwed th these screws here that hold it together into the handle, which, you know, is not a huge deal, but I definitely would prefer to see the Chicago screws because then you're actually sandwiching it with screws and not with the handle. So if you were to, for some whatever reason, thread it out, you'd just be threading out a screw, not the handle. So that's pretty cool. Um, now the blade steel, the uh, CPM S30V, you know, I used to be kind of like, uh, you know, it's a little too much of a bitch to sharpen for me. Pardon my France, eh? Um, but Spyderco's heat treat, I don't know if it's just on the two examples that I have, but their S30V um, is softer than most people do it. Um, now, but what's cool about that is it still offers the biggest property of S30V, and that is, even when considered dull by like your, you know, a knife dork like me, um, like when, when my knife's not sharp as hell, I'm not, I'm dissatisfied with it, and I want to sharpen it and make it really sharp, so I don't have to put too much effort into cutting. But anyway, when I consider this knife dull, it still cuts really well, and that's kind of the way S30V is, regardless of the of the heat treat, as far as I can tell. Um, it still cuts really well. It's not going to like cut paper or shave the hair on your body too well, but uh, uh, it it still cuts well. You know, when you're cutting other things like whatever it is, rope, you know, cord, you know, packages, or whatever it is, um, it still cuts well. But Spyderco, like I said, it's softer, so it is easier to sharpen. I'm going to go ahead and say it's just easy to sharpen. It seems to me anyway. The two S30V knives from Spyderco that I have are, are compared to the other S30V examples that I have, just totally easy to sharpen. Way easier, um, which is interesting. So I really like this steel. It's kind of made a believer out of S30V to me. I think Chris Reed knives, it's pretty good, but it's a little too hard. Strider, way too hard. It's almost impossible to sharpen, but um, I like this a lot. What else could I say about this knife? Okay, it's got this clip, this wire clip, um, which I could give or take. I think it's fine. The um, what I do like about it, uh, I love knives that have that are simple. I love simplicity, and I love how they've attached this with one screw. I totally prefer that, just because I'm, I'm anal and I like that to see that. So that's just one last thing. Um, but bitchin' little knife here, guys. If you're in the market, pick one up. Archman out. Leave me a comment.
Archman, you could play a drinking game with all those ums. 